Marla was a sweet, intelligent 25-year-old young woman who had a heart full of kindness. She was a skeptic of online dating, but her lack of ability to attract someone that met her expectations led her to trying an online dating app. One evening, she came across a profile that caught her eye. The 26-year-old man's name was Keith, and she was immediately attracted to his profile. His main picture displayed a charming smile, and his bio included everything she wanted in a date. Foodie, enjoy traveling, business owner, love music and arts. The list of positive qualities went on and on. Marla was hesitant, but eventually found the courage to send him a direct message. Hello, was all she said. It took two days, but Keith responded. Hello, back with a smiley face and heart emojis. Marla instantly felt butterflies in her stomach, and she screamed with excitement. Over the next few days, Marla and Keith engaged in text message conversations throughout each day. His messages to her were filled with wit and flattery, and she was quickly falling for him. As days turned into weeks, Marla and Keith's conversations intensified. They shared stories, their goals in life, and even some of their deepest secrets. Marla and Keith developed a deep emotional bond, something Marla was not expecting. One night, Marla was relaxing in her cozy living room when her phone buzzed with a text message. It was after one in the morning, which led her to believe it was an emergency involving a loved one. She quickly checked the message and was surprised to see that it was from Keith. She read the message and it read how much he loved the sweater she was wearing earlier that day and described in vivid details about what she had done that morning. The blood drained from Marla's face as she realized he had been watching her. Marla did not respond to the message, but he continued. Marla, please respond. I miss you so much. I haven't been able to get you off of my mind. Those pictures you posted on Instagram have me wanting you so much. I need you in my life. Marla, are you there? Please respond. Marla was mortified. She now realized Keith had been watching her every move. He had found her social media accounts, scoured through her online presence, and even collected information about her daily routines. To make matters worse, he obviously found out where she lived. Terrified, Marla blocked Keith's number and reported him to the dating app support team. She thought this would end the ordeal, but the nightmare had only just begun. Keith increased his efforts in reaching out to her. No matter how much she tried to escape, he always found a way to infiltrate her life. He would send her photos of herself while she was out in public from anonymous phone numbers and text details of her daily activities. Marla's friends and family began to grow concerned for her well-being and suggested she increase her security and call the police. She installed security cameras around her home, but it did not ease her paranoia. She even filed a police report. But they told her there was little they could do without evidence. Marla felt helpless and isolated. She could barely sleep at night and constantly looked over her shoulder. One night, as Marla settled into her bed, her phone chimed with a text notification. It was a message from an unknown number. She hesitantly opened the message, and her heart skipped a beat when she read the chilling words, I know you're alone. You look beautiful in that night shirt. Fear gripped Marla as she realized it was Keith. She had blocked his previous numbers and accounts, but always found a way to reach her again. Her hands trembled as she deleted the message, and she ran through her house, closing all the blinds and curtains. Keith knew she was home alone, and he was obviously somewhere close, watching her every move. Marla made sure all the doors and windows were locked, and she double-checked the security cameras she installed. She called her best friend Stacy and told her about the distressing message. Stacy offered to come over, but Marla told her she made sure the doors and windows were locked and the security system was active. Stacy told Marla to call her immediately if Keith reached out to her again. Marla returned to bed, trying to force herself to sleep. Just as she was beginning to drift off, 
she heard a faint noise outside her bedroom window. She looked at her clock. It was after one in the morning. Her heart pounded in her chest as she sat up in her bed, remaining as still as possible, hoping what she heard was just her imagination. But she heard it again, a soft tapping on her bedroom window. Her mind raced, thinking of all the horror stories she had heard about intruders and stalkers. She slowly got out of bed and tiptoed towards the window. She peeked through the curtains and nearly screamed when she saw Keith's face, illuminated by the light of the moon. Marla, let me in. We're meant to be together. It's time we made our relationship official. No, Keith, leave me alone. I'm calling the police. She shouted back, hoping her words would scare him off. But Keith seemed unfazed. He persisted in his eerie pleas. Marla retrieved her phone and dialed for emergency services, praying for the police to arrive quickly. As she waited for help to arrive, Keith's behavior grew even more erratic. He started banging on her doors and scratching on the windows. She even heard him pulling and turning on the doorknobs, trying to force them open. Finally, the police arrived, and the bangs on her doors and scratches at her windows stopped. The officers searched the area, but he was nowhere in sight. In the following days, the police intensified their efforts to apprehend Keith. Marla stayed with her friend Stacy, for a while too afraid to return to her home. The stalking incident had left her traumatized, and she couldn't shake off the feeling of being constantly watched. After weeks of investigation, the police eventually caught Keith. He was charged with stalking, harassment, and breaking and entering. The police searched his home and pictures of Marla were covering the walls of his bedroom. There were even self-made photos of him and Marla taped together. There were handwritten notes addressed to Marla found scattered throughout his home, confessing his love for her and depicting the details of the vile things he was planning to do to her. Marla finally felt a sense of relief, knowing that he was behind bars and couldn't harm her anymore. But the ordeal left scars that wouldn't heal easily. Marla struggled with anxiety and paranoia, always looking over her shoulder, fearing that Keith's menacing presence might one day return. 